A boy named Justin discovers a suitcase with a mysterious man inside. Little does he know, this man can produce something valuable whenever he's in pain. While Justin waits for his baggage at an airport, he gets a text from his friend and roommate, Alex, asking how he is. Justin replies that his current ex-girlfriend, Carla, broke up with him, and his dad is furious because he dropped out of school. When he looks at the luggage carousel, he is confused to find not a single luggage arriving and that he's alone in the airport. He spots a sign saying the baggage office is closed, so he looks through the window and knocks, hoping to find someone to assist him. Suddenly, a black suitcase like his comes out of the non-functioning carousel. Perplexed, Justin grabs it thinking it's his, and proceeds to exit the airport. As he leaves, the carousel starts functioning again and brings out his bag, but it's been opened, with his clothes scattered around. Around. While Justin drives home while smoking a cigarette, he doesn't notice his bag budging in the seat behind him. He receives a text from Carla, saying she'll get her stuff from his place tomorrow. The cigarette burns Justin's fingers, causing him to drop it along with his phone. He panics, trying to grab his phone when he accidentally video calls Carla, and she answers. Confused and annoyed about the call, Carla assumes he's drunk dialing her because of their breakup. She claims she wants someone motivated in life, unlike Justin, who responds that he's taking things slow. However, his ex-girlfriend doesn't seem to believe him before hanging up. After the call, Justin turns up the music volume out of frustration and continues to drive home. When he arrives home, he leaves his luggage by the door and heads to the fridge to find something to eat. He grabs a box of noodles but decides not to eat it after seeing an insulting message written inside. Afterward, Justin goes to his room, gets a flash drive, and smokes another cigarette. He returns to the living room to study and smoke more while watching adult shows on TV. Later on, his suitcase suddenly moves towards him. Justin notices and is taken aback when he hears a man muffling inside it. He laughs, assuming that Alex is messing with him, so he tries to call him upstairs. But a voice inside the suitcase says Alex isn't there. Shocked, Justin slowly approaches the suitcase to open it, but jolts when the voice groans again. He lays the bag on the ground and quickly opens it, surprising Justin to find a Turkish man squished up inside. The man mumbles, asking Justin to turn his head out of the suitcase so he can speak clearly. Justin hesitates before grabbing a baseball bat beside him for defense as he approaches the man. The man groans as his head is turned, and Justin instantly backs away, still shocked at the sight. The man begs not to get hit, so Justin puts the bat on the floor. The man explains that he offended someone he shouldn't have, hence being trapped inside the suitcase. Justin says he'll bring the man to the hospital to get some help, but the man claims that the hospital cannot do anything to fix his condition. The boy tries to convince the man that the hospital can help by mentioning his friend who once had a leg injury. The hospital gave him crutches, and now his friend is excellent at basketball. The boy continues to talk about his friend while the man tries to talk over him. When the man finally gets Justin's attention, he explains he cannot pay attention to school drama as he's in extreme pain. Justin remembers he wants to bring the man to the hospital and quickly closes the suitcase, but the man shouts to stop him, expressing his worry about getting caught. So Justin decides to return the man to the airport since people are looking for the man. He closes the suitcase again, and the man shouts, telling him not to do so. He adds that Justin removing him from the bag will fix everything. Justin thanks him for the advice but babbles again as he thinks the suitcase is the only thing keeping the man's body intact. The man loses his patience and begs Justin to stop talking and just help him out of the luggage. A few seconds later, Justin starts pulling out the man's foot while the man screams in pain. Suddenly, a gold coin pops out of his mouth. Justin exchanges confused looks at the coin and the man. So the man explains that his condition causes him to produce gold when he's in pain. Justin still cannot believe what he just saw, and the man claims he's afraid of what Justin might do, knowing he can produce gold. He adds that Justin can try pulling him out again later and that all gold produced by the man will be given to the boy as compensation for his help. Shortly after, the man falls asleep. So Justin closes the bag and brings it to his room. When Justin dozes off, he dreams of sleeping inside the suitcase, recalling the man's claim of getting caught. Suddenly, the suitcase closes, trapping him inside. So he freaks out and shouts for help while trying to escape. At the same time, three men in suits enter his room holding guns and proceed to shoot him dead through the luggage. The following morning, Justin wakes up, sweating and catching his breath from his nightmare. He laughs in relief when he spots the suitcase still in the same spot he left it last night. 
Moments later, he grabs the gold coin from his bedside table and visits the pawn shop to find out what it is. The pawnbroker tells him that the coin is a gold 100 Kurush coin from the time of Abdul Amin II, who died after the First World War. Justin asks if it's valuable, and the pawnbroker answers that it is because it's gold. The boy reveals that he found it in some luggage, so the pawnbroker offers him $275 in exchange for the coin. Then, he writes the price on a piece of paper and hands it to Justin, who exchanges looks between him and the form. The pawnbroker signals for Justin to get the report, so he grabs it and then meets up with Alex at a playground. At the playground, Justin shows his friend the paper, who says that Justin should have asked for a higher price of at least $325. Justin doesn't understand what his friend said, but Alex explains that he should have negotiated with the pawnbroker instead of letting him take advantage. A few seconds later, Alex comments that Justin easily Usually lets people take advantage of him, just like Carla. Alex asks if he's okay but laughs after, assuming his friend isn't when there's no response. He then asks if there are more gold coins, to which Justin answers, maybe. As they walk to Justin's house, the boy tells his friend about the man in the suitcase, but Alex doesn't believe him and says it's nonsense. Just before they enter, Carla suddenly comes out the door, frightened, and shoves Justin away. Confused, Justin asks what she's doing here, so she reminds him about her text about getting her stuff today. He then asks what's wrong, and his ex girlfriend answers that she never thought he'd be a murderer. Alex and Justin exchange confused looks before Alex goes inside with Carla to see what happened. Alex spots the suitcase with the man's hand peeping out, so he opens it and finds the man sleeping inside. Seconds later, Justin follows them into his room to explain, but the man suddenly wakes up as they approach the suitcase. Carla and Alex scream in shock and jolt back causing the man to get startled. Carla freaks out and raises her voice at Justin as she asks what he'd done. So Justin explains that he found the man already in that state. She asks why he didn't help the man, and Justin explains it's complicated, but she ignores him and tries to pull the man out. Justin also approaches to help, and they slowly start pulling out the man's foot. While the man groans in pain, another gold coin pops out of his mouth and onto the floor. Alex eyes the coin while the two try to pull the man out again. More coins come out of the man's mouth, and the confused Carla asks what's happening. Meanwhile, Alex secretly grabs a coin while the man tells him he needs to rest. The girl wants to get him out, but Alex approaches Justin to talk to him. When the three gather in the room, Alex excitedly claims that where he found the man doesn't matter because they're going to be rich. However, the two oppose the idea until the man calls Alex. He approaches the man, and Justin tells Carla they may make a bit of money, but something terrible might happen if they keep the man around for too long. While the two are talking, Alex closes up the suitcase as the man tries to stop him with his hand, and he starts pulling it out of the room. The two notice and ask what he's doing as they follow, but Alex suddenly kicks the suitcase down the stairs. When the suitcase hits the ground, a bunch of gold coins explodes on the floor as the man groans in pain. The three stare at the gold, and Alex claims they won't let the man go. Justin agrees to keep him for 48 hours before letting him go, and the boys shake hands to call their deal. Afterward, the three inflict different kinds of pain on the man to take advantage of the coins and make more money. The next day, the three enjoy their wealth and buy the things they want. Later that day, Carla places coins on her stomach, and Alex uses his mouth to get them while in Justin's room. They hear Justin approaching, so Alex quickly returns to his room, and Carla rushes to take off the coins. Justin hears Alex's door close but thinks nothing of it and sees Carla lying in bed shirtless. She smiles, and he shows her some drugs, inviting her to smoke with him. That night, the three attach a device to the man in the suitcase that electrifies him, causing him to produce gold continuously. While the man shouts in pain, Justin remorsefully turns off the machine, and Alex asks why he stopped. Justin worriedly claims he doesn't think the man can handle the higher setting of the device while Carla separates coins from the man's blood in a strainer. She responds that he said that earlier but still turned the machine up, and now more coins are coming out of the man. However, Justin thinks they should stop, but Alex and Carla disagree, along with the man, who says it's okay since he deserves it. The man reveals that he thinks his heart will stop soon, so Carla anxiously looks at the boys. Still, Alex continues to set the device to the highest setting. Justin raises his voice and tries to stop him, but Alex argues that they'll be able to buy vacation homes and boats with the money. Carla smiles at the idea until Justin reminds their deal of 48 hours. Alex wants to become rich, telling his friend to wake up and be practical, but Justin refuses to agree and calls the two evil. Justin claims he didn't think they would become murderers, leaving the two speechless. 
He then brings out his phone to call the cops, but Carla snatches it away from him and smashes it with a hammer. Infuriated, Justin scolds her, questioning what she's doing, until she suddenly smashes his head with a hammer. Blood starts to drip from his head as he stumbles out of the room to escape. Shortly after, Carla follows to kill him with the hammer, but he falls down the stairs and becomes unconscious before she can hit him. Alex looks at his passed out friend, shocked and speechless, while Carla asks what they should do next. Alex decides they should flee since they'll be able to go to Paris and Constantinople, but the man abruptly interrupts him, claiming Constantinople isn't a place anymore. Alex tells him to shut up, and the girl asks what they should do with the man. Alex looks at the electrocution device and decides to collect gold one last time before leaving. When they grab the device, the man tells them not to while grinning and calling them naughty. The two friends exchange confused looks, and the man's eyes suddenly shine a bright yellow as he snickers, wondering how they'll get punished for their actions. Still, they turn on the machine, and the man laughs loudly until the device gets detached from the man. Suddenly, a strong wind takes them back, and smoke revolves around the man, transforming him into a god like creature. Alex and Carla scream in terror, and two suitcases unexpectedly fall on the ground. The creature evilly laughs while the two scream, getting trapped inside the suitcase. After a while, Justin wakes up in a hospital with a head injury and a broken arm. He finds flowers beside him with a note from the man, which says to think of him if ever he needs anything, and he'll appear. Meanwhile, the man, now perfectly fine and out of the suitcase, goes to the airport with multiple suitcases to return to Istanbul. He ensures the airlines will take care of his bags, and they assure him they'll do anything for a customer as loyal as him. The man smiles as he hears Carla and Alex shouting for help inside their suitcase as they're placed on the conveyor belt. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like, it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.